So sorry. <laughs> Eric, do you mind introducing this last topic and why we're deciding to talk about it today? When we've talked about this numerous times, oh god, it's been a little while. Um, but uh, what announcement did they do this week? I have yet to really say much negative about this announcement. But well, there's I mean, some interesting. Um, the, the there's game. an interesting thing about this announcement that I don't think anyone's really talking about yet that you brought up today. First thing you mean the first thing that I said when the I first when I saw the yes. announcement. So. What are we talking about? What's the fourth topic? Uh, as you have it written, what the hell is Nintendo doing with the Nintendo Switch online service? Now, why did I say that? What What did you say immediately when you learned about the games? Oh, I was like, hey, look. They, they now announced the uh, the NES games that are coming out for the Switch online for this month. I'm like, and then you said the, t- the games, and I'm like... Yeah, Master Blaster and Zelda 2. Yes, and I'm like, I thought they said three. I thought they said that they were giving us three games... Every I don't month. know if they promised three per month, but it's been no, it's been three per month. Pretty sure that they have said that they were going to give us. I at am least not going to doubt you. I'm just saying I'm that f- I don't almost know 100 percent because Nintendo has weird wording and could infer things they don't actually promise. So well, I don't know. Neither, yeah. But what I do know is two is less than three. Yes, two is less than three. We waited until a week, a week before the games were going to come out to even know what they are. Right. We've never had to wait that long. But we knew what all the next three months were after the Nintendo Direct so before. Also, another thing. Sorry, keep going. My, I'll get to this after. No, go, here. go for it. Another thing is I have a problem with. If I pay for this online subscription service that I'm supposed to get a monthly game, why in the hell are they coming out a halfway through the month? I mean, yeah, but they've been coming out halfway through the month every time, so it's still like a month between. And, and, and I get that, but it's it feels like it up. should be at the beginning of the month. And th- th- But not everyone just, pays at the beginning of the month. I, I don't know. It just feels like it should be at the beginning of the month. Know, okay, that's just a pet peeve thing. Like, it is. Yeah, it, to it me, it really is. Matter. Like, even games of gold, like, it doesn't always come at like, the beginning of the month. They're dropped throughout the month. Yeah. Granted, they give you more games and better games, better optimal. It's, it's just a, a more thing, expensive, I guess. More expensive service, though. Um, so, with the NES games, like, I was okay with the NES games not being announced heading into January because I thought, this is presumptuous of me, but Nintendo's hinted at it. I thought the reason they did not have any games announced for January was either because we weren't going to get any, or we were, but they didn't want to announce them until after they dropped a bomb that SNES games are coming to Switch this month. And so they were going to launch a bunch of SNES games, <laughs> and so and- they did, so that they didn't have the NES games... Was well, because they're launching SNES, or they didn't want to announce the NES games and have them get overshadowed by the SNES. So, like, I that's what I thought. And then they just announced the NES games anyway. We find out they're two amazing games, right? But we're getting one less game than we've been getting. Still no word on SNES. Mm-hmm. And you waited until the month of, and now I don't know what we're getting in February. Oh, they'll, they'll give us a week notice. Yeah. Like, why can't we know a, a month plus ahead of time? What is so wrong? Like, why can't I know the rest of the year? Why? Here's the thing. I paid for this. Yeah. Why can't you tell me what I paid for until after I've already paid for it? Yeah. Like you gave us a three. Like I thought they were the ba- the way they did it. They gave us they gave us what October, November, December. Yep. Uh, they we knew what all those games were yep. going to be as soon as they announced the lineup and stuff. Fine. Well, I thought it was going to be okay. You tell us November or October, November, December. I thought when we got to the December, you would announce January, February, February March. March. So I thought basically we would always get three months at a time. That and I'm like, sense. that's fine. Because that they make sell three-month memberships. Yeah. Fine. Cool. Three months at a time. Gotcha. Dig it. That was fine. Then we head into January. Still don't know. And then we finally get our announcement in January. Still don't know next month or the next month. And we found out it's a game less. To me, the Nintendo Switch Online service, when it comes to the NES game offerings, the reason that... Uh, we were only getting two games, as an example. Mm-hmm. is because they added all these things where you get in these online features and all this stuff and save states. They're adding all this stuff in. Mm-hmm. Great. But it takes more time to do it than they realized. And so those nine games that they had for the, the October, November, December, I think those were already done. Yeah. They were just spreading them out. Yeah. But then the games for January weren't even started yet. So oh, they didn't yeah, even definitely. know what those yeah, games yeah. were probably till December. Right. And even then, there might have been a third game they thought was going to make it. They couldn't. Now that's going to come in February. But yeah. what I'm saying is, for something that seems so simple, on Virtual Console, back in the day, because remember, Reggie fils is the one that said the Nintendo Switch Online service replaces Virtual Console. So let's never mind the fact we don't have SNES, don't have GameCube, don't have Wii, don't have DS, don't right. have any of the right. actual offerings a Virtual Console had. Right. 
They would give us three games per week. Yeah. And now we're down to two per month. Great games. I'm supposed to be satisfied. With, oh, it's only 20 bucks a year. It's only a dollar or whatever a month. Like, why are you complaining? Because, because they compared it to Virtual Console. Uh-huh. But why are we getting so many less games than we got on Virtual Console? At the rate they're currently going, sure, they'll add SNES in 2025. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying they get through any sort of. That's saying, I mean, I technically, mean, there's enough NES games that we oh won't God. see it to like 2040. Oh, God, at yeah. Current pace. Right? Yeah. Like, I, I mean, there's enough decent it'd be NES different games. different if it was are, like yeah. three NES games a month, three SNES games a month, three N64. Like, right. okay, now you're getting like nine, 12 games a month. Okay, right. cool. Across multiple platforms. But you only have one platform on there, and you still can only give us two. No, it was three, now only two? Yeah. Any from thirty plus years ago, you can only get us two of those a month. Games that I hate saying this, you can go online and download illegally, and I can have a library of hundreds of them right now. You can go on Amazon right now, buy the Soldier Boy Retro Mini, and have like yeah. three hundred games right now for, for yeah. cheaper than for cheaper yeah. than what you. Well, it's not cheaper than the online service for a year, but there'll be more games on it than you will get in the time it takes you to have the online service long enough to catch uh, up. The amount per game, though. What? How much? How much is the Soldier Boy? So, Soldier Boy Retro Mini, sixty bucks. Sixty bucks for three hundred games. Oh well, no, no, it's like eight hundred plus. Okay, but so three hundred like, Nintendo or four hundred Nintendo. Okay, but okay, so across even, multiple even platforms. Even then, even then, so let's even if even if it's sixty bucks for three hundred games, three hundred four hundred Nintendo yeah. games. Even if it was just that, that's still less per game than the twenty bucks you're paying for the nine games that you have now, or twelve games or whatever well, it's it is. Twenty nine, and then it's about to be thirty one. Yeah. Oh, but still, yeah. that's still less per game. Yeah. By the time you get three years into the service. At current pacing, what is it? Let's say let's say in 2019, it's two games per month because it started 2019 with two. Why should Why I presume not? it's going to be more? Right. That's 24 new games added this year. Yep. So what does that put us You're at? at like we were at 29, 50. so we're at 53. 55 at most. 53, maybe 55 at the end of the year. Okay, yeah. add another 24 for the next year, so you're at 70. Basically, we'll be at about 100 games by the time you spend 60 bucks across three years. What did I just say the retro mini was? Three to four. All right. Three to four hundred, just Nintendo. Yeah, eight hundred altogether for sixty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, like, yeah. and by by the way, I, don't buy the Soldier Boy Retro Mini. It's <coughs> it's not illegal to buy it. It's illegal yeah. for the, it to be sold, but it's it's just a don't. It it it's got issues with emulation, like whatever. But I just yeah, no, I, get I don't you. get it. I I don't get it. Here's the thing. I have my criticisms about. Any online service. I don't think you should have to pay to connect to your own internet. Right. I've never believed you should have to pay. If a game offers peer-to-peer multiplayer, it should not be behind a paywall because all it's doing is using your own network. Mm-hmm. It's using your system and your own network and yeah. their system and their network. Yeah. The only thing the server is doing at all is just throw, matchmaking. Like, like matchmaking you. Matchmaking. And, that does, and that doesn't take much. You can no. do that pretty easily. Right. So. You don't really need to pay for something I mean, like that. you don't even really need a server. I mean, the, the, only, the only reason why you need a server is because of the mass quantities you're doing. Yeah, because of how many people are I mean, matchmaking. I, we could matchmake off your PC. Yeah, I mean, it's just connecting people together. That's all yeah. it is. It's just connecting two points of the internet together. Yeah. Uh, which your ISP does normally anyways, but in the case of it going through an, a, a game-specific thing, obviously it would be, instead of your ISP, it would be an extra setting. Mm-hmm. You know, you, it would still go through your ISP, but it would go from your ISP to their server farm, then to the other person, and then connect you two together. And once you're connected together, it's just you two connected together. Mm-hmm. They match make you, you are no longer using Nintendo servers. Nintendo servers get updated after the match is done, and it uploads all the data. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, any P2P game shouldn't be, behind a, shouldn't be behind. And I know, by the way, Xbox, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, a lot of their games are peer-to-peer on their thing, too, and I don't agree with it on those systems either. So this is not right. just a Nintendo thing. Right. I don't think anyone should ever have to pay for peer-to-peer multiplayer. Yes. Now, you're going to offer dedicated servers. That's different. Yes. Dedicated servers do a lot more. Yes. I know what dedicated servers cost. I've done I've done them just for a website, let alone for online online games. Yes. So I get paying for that. I mean, it's right. the same reason why I understand why World of Warcraft charges 15 bucks a month or 60 a year or whatever, mm-hmm. kind of like a PlayStation thing, because everything is running on those damn servers, or right. a lot of things run on those damn servers. Right. It's not cheap to upkeep that crap. So mm-hmm. I get it. I understand it. And so far, World of Warcraft is like the only one that can get away with it. Um, yeah. But I just, I know it's only 20 bucks. But the only there's two there's two basically benefits you get of it besides just playing games online. You get the 
ability to back up your game saves which by the way every other platform gives you a free ability to do that it's called local backups switch won't let you do that it's not preventing piracy because uh guess what the yuzu emulator just got updated and now super mario odyssey runs at 60 fps on pc guess what people are hacking their switches and they are getting their their save data anyway so you might as well just let us have an official method that's actually user you know for legit users that aren't going to do that whatever anyways and the point is there should be local backups but there's not so they're not the only ones to put cloud saves behind a paywall system but they are the only ones to do it that don't offer an alternative so playstation i believe puts theirs behind Mm -hmm. a paywall but they offer local backups so you don't have to pay to back up your games yes microsoft doesn't charge for it but microsoft like literally has a massive server farm regardless so like yes they just figure, whatever. It takes up like such a minute part of their server farm. What do they care? Yes. Um, so I just... Also, they yeah, offer so you pay, it for... So you pay for the only way to back up games, and then you pay for the NES games. Also, don't they offer it for all of their games? Yes. Both <laughs> platforms, Sony and Microsoft, require every game to support the backup system, whether it's local or, on, or the cloud. And Nintendo has literal Nintendo games that are exceptions that don't support yep. it because Nintendo wants to store multiplayer data locally on your system because that's never going to get hacked and cheated. Right. No. No. No, people aren't going to find a way to cheat their Splatoon 2 X rankings at all to make sure they never lose them. They're not going to save state restore. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that's, yes. that's, that's, that was, a, that's, that's a whole yes. other complaint. Right, but right. The Nintendo Switch Online service to me... It, 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 it exists to make money. I, let's yes. just, I mean, it exists for all platforms to make money. It's good they get that consistent stream of revenue. And I understand why they exist and why Nintendo's doing it. Everyone else in the, in the console space is doing it, so why not us? Right. And we can't come in at 60 because we're not willing to offer what other people offer. We're right. not going to give people Breath of the Wild for free right now. Right. Like, other platforms would do that. You know, yeah. it's two yeah, years yeah, old. Sure, we're sure. not going to do that. No. We're, our titles are evergreen. They're worth yes. too much to do that. Fine. But like they were ne- like there's like we don't have a way to message people. One of the initial promises of the online service, the only cool thing about that app, was supposed to be the ability to create play sessions with your friends for later. You were supposed supposed to be able to schedule play sessions with friends. To me, that went one. You obviously have to be able to contact your friends and mm-hmm. message them somehow through the app in order to even make the play session. And mm-hmm. then you could set up the play session and actually have a group thing all set up to get, to organize games to play with people later. Instead, it's just voice chat. And granted, the voice chat sounds better than it did did way back when it was just in beta, but it's still just voice chat, and the voice chat's still clunky going because you have to go back and forth. I think like twice between the switch and your phone to get it to work. So now you're draining battery on two. To, it's just yeah, yeah. And I know they sell headsets now that you can like wire into your switch and Bluetooth to your phone. Like uh, I find still, I get it. it's just not convenient. Nothing about that's like we talked about why this system blew up. Yeah, big part of it you said convenience, convenience, convenience. convenience, convenience. That's inconvenient. Until it came to online, and then it yes. became the most inconvenient thing I've ever touched. Right. Um, I mean, heck, getting online in Fantasy Star Online through the dang Ethernet adapter, or it wasn't even <laughs> dongle. Ethernet, 56K adapter. Dongle. Back, and it wasn't, well, it wasn't even, it wasn't a dongle, actually. Ah, come on, I just it like was, that word, though. It was, a, it was an <laughs> attachment. Right. To, uh, I know, well, dongles are an attachment, but, like, right. literally, this is a, okay, yeah, a hard that. piece yeah. you plugged into the bottom of yeah. your GameCube. Yeah. Fantasy Star Online. Was easier to connect and play games online to, and <laughs> held its connection better, by the way, than playing games on yes. Switch, Switch Online. Fantastic. I, like, why isn't there an Ethernet port on the dock? That's another thing. I, yeah, I, I couldn't. Yeah. Ethernet port costs pennies. Right. Put it on the dock. Don't make us use a dongle. Yeah. <laughs> dongle. I oh, love that, I love that 30 word. Bucks. Like, I love that word. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, you're right. Who cares? Next thing you know, they're gonna remove the headphone jack and make us plug a dongle into the bottom part to Damn get headphones straight out. there. Because, because hey, as Apple said, you know, it's brave. Got to be brave to remove the headphone jack. I, I'm, you got to be stupid. I'm, yeah, right. And I'm also, I'm also, I, I'm sorry, but those, those, I, their, their earbuds, they're so freaking tiny that I, I feel like I'm gonna set them down and they're just gonna disappear. <laughs> it, it, I, I've seen them. They're just, it's like, no. It's just they don't have like an over the year. I don't. I don't. Maybe they may, but I don't think they have like an over the year attachment. I don't think they have. They're just like a little thing about yay big, and it's like I set that down and it gets covered up by something. They're gone. Yeah, I. I put them in my pocket. They're gone. I just. It, 
And look, I can complain all day about the online service. It's uh-huh. like the worst thing about Switch. Every, there's so many wonderful things about this platform. The indie support, even some of the AAA support we're getting now. Dragon's Dogma was just announced. Excellent game. Can't wait to play that on Switch. Uh, I've heard yeah, at times it's even better than Oblivion, so I can't, I can't <laughs> wait to dive into that. Um, even though it comes from Crapcom. This was before they became Crapcom, so <laughs> um, I can't wait to dive into that. I can't wait to... Uh, play so many games. Like, the games are great. I know some people want themes and stuff in the UI. I don't really care about any of that stuff. That stuff's all, like, unnecessary fluff that they're just going to microtransaction you for like they do on 3DS. Oh, yeah. So I don't really care about any of that crap. I don't even care about, like, oh, we want eShop music. Like, why? Who cares? I'm there to buy a game and get the hell out. I'm not there right. to listen to music. So whatever. I get that, like, people like that because it adds charm. And it does. And creates that Nintendo flavor. And I'm just like, dude, I'm not, I didn't even listen to it back in the day. Like, right. the first time you go in, you're like, oh, this is kind of neat. And then I never listened to it. Right. Like, the only thing that was kind of cool was the system transfer. The system transfer was cool because I had, like, little Pikmin, like, carrying things. Like, the system yeah, yeah, transfer yeah, right? stuff on yeah. Wii U was, was really, really neat. But... Besides that, and that, and that, that made a little sense because that's you're going to be there on that screen for a while, transferring systems back then. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, I don't, I don't get like for all convenient switches, it's like Nintendo can't ever just get it all right. Nope.